Okay, so a couple things with this wig. So I have it pulled up in like a high ponytail. And, you know, as you can see, it looks weird because there's just the line all the way around. Um, let me show you guys can see that. Uh, you know, from far away, like right now, it doesn't look as good because my hair, I had shaved more than I wanted, so it needs to grow out. So you can see that it looks a little stark. You know, it just doesn't look, it doesn't look natural. I mean, it looks better than a lot of wigs, but it doesn't look natural. So I don't recommend doing it like this. You would have to have, um, it's like, say I have baby hairs right here. You'd have to have enough baby hairs to hide that. And, you know, from far away, he looks like, oh, you can't even tell. But if you get up close, you know, you can start seeing that. So I would definitely not wear this in public like this because it's just a little too wiggy. But it's in the right direction. I mean, and I think even, let's see if I can get this. Um, you know, because you have the extra silicone right here and then with hair back here, the nape, um, you can, uh, you know, with playing around with it, you can do an up, more updo like that and, um, you know, playing around with it. And then you would just need to add, let me see if you guys can see that, like hair right here, because that's kind of stark. So, and then right there, of course. But then up there, you can see the lace, especially in certain lighting. Let's see, like, there we go. So, you know, just depending on what kind of situation you're in, um, you know, you can put this up and definitely put like a headband around it, but um, I wouldn't leave it like this. But I also wanted to show you with this piece, um, I used a ton of It Stays because I had my PT test today and you know, it's March so the weather was, you know, perfect so I didn't get too sweaty. Um, and this didn't shift at all, but you know, I used it stays all the way around. I even put some up here So it's pretty good. It's not gonna budge. So I wanted to show you um, oh, I don't know where to stick this. I didn't plan this out good. But I wanted to show you How well I can jerk my head and with the it stays it's not gonna go anywhere. So for added security So, it stays, I'm sorry, I keep saying it stays, got to be glue, I use got to be glue. It stays, that wouldn't, I don't think that would be possible. Um, unless I use it all the way around, I use a ton of it, it could be, but not as good as got to be glue. So, sorry, I'm not, it stays, got to be glue, I use got to be glue everywhere. And uh, so even worked out and sweated and this stayed. So, um, I just wanted to show those things, okay? So, I'm going to show you how I take this wig off because um, when I'm in a military job, I use gotcha glue to keep it secured. And, um, you know, on a very hot, sweaty day, it's pretty easy to get off. Um, but since I use a lot today, it might have a little more resistance. So. I, I don't get it wet and wash it every time, but I do get it wet. So I was just gonna show you when, um, how I get it off. So this is the down and dirty way. Let's see. There you go. See, I need to kind of
I'll just set it out to dry. Right now it's going over knee, over my shower. <laughs> Sometimes I put it on my candle holders. Okay, so all I did after that was I just I just washed all my makeup off and um, just put a little soap in my hair. So if you don't use a whole bunch of Gotta Be Glue, it's not that hard. Normally I can just take it off while I'm driving home and like loosen it all up and it's not that big of a deal. But when I use a lot, because I need to be secure, like if you are gonna go, like you have to go shooting, you have to go work outside in the heat, wear your gas mask, things that you wanna make sure it's secure um, if you don't have like added clips or anything in, then th that's, you want to use a, a lot of gotta be glue. And you just rinse it off at the end of the day. And even though like this looks wet, I mean it is wet and you might think that it'll be like a hot mess. When it dries, it dries soft and wavy and natural and I don't put any product in it and I just pull it back. I mean, the one I could flat iron it, but when I pull it back, you know, it kind of corrects itself. So that way I'm rinsing the goo off but I'm not washing the wig every time I use it. I just wanna make sure that I get the got to be glue off um, this area because otherwise it starts getting stiff. And you know, you just wanna maintain it. It's like silk, it's like a nice cap. So you just wanna make sure it's um, maintained and it's not gooey. I can see that I still got a little bit of goo, so. You're just gonna let it rinse off a little bit. And honestly, I just brush it out and I just let it air dry. I'll probably put it on my wig stand. Um, so today it was a little more gooey because I used so much, but normally um, it's not that hard. I can have several days of work with it and um, not have to like rinse it off completely. So probably like two to three, probably two for sure if um, it's hot, it's hot and I'm sweaty, maybe even one. But I still only wash it like every six, six to eight wears. Probably more like every six in the summer. Just because you can rinse off the silicone tabs and um, rinse everything off and just get it wet without having to use soap and wash it and everything. And just use a little bit of like Moroccan oil to uh, keep the, you know, everything like soft and um, conditioned without drying it out with soap and tangling it and styling it and everything. So yeah, so all I did was I just rinsed it out a little more. Um, there's still some on there, but I mean, it'll be okay. And uh, I'll just let it drain in the sink for a little bit and then I'll hang it up on my wig head. And, um, and then I'll just let it like, I'll just brush it out, let it air dry and then it's, it's good to go for the next work day. Okay.